Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some tips and maybe a few tricks on how to play the violin professionally. And just different tips that you need to know before you can play this. Really good. Yes, I'm taking lessons from a really awesome teacher. Um, and it's awesome. Okay, so let's get started. So with your bow, you need, now if you are doing taking lessons and everything playing, then you know, you need to tighten it. But a way to know if you have it tightened the um, best is make sure your pinky fits that. So now I need a little bit more. I should cut it. Yep. Okay, so about that. But there should still be an arch in it. I don't know if you can look, but you can tell kind of that there's still a little arch. Yeah, definitely. So there's still a little arch. So now, every time before you play with your bow, you need to make sure you rosin it. Okay, that is super important. So, let's say you just got new rosin, right? Looks like this. Right? Okay, well, I got a package of two. So, instead of looking like this, in order for the rosin to get on your bow right, you need to break it up. It looks something, let's use rosin, it's all cracked and some of it came off. That's what it, you can do it with a key and it will cut it for you. It'll like break it up so you can rosin your bow. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the rosin on our bow. Okay, so you need to put it at least Run your bow across it at least eight times. Oops. I'm not counting. So if I do too many, if I do too this, you can't really do too many. But you can probably do two. You can definitely do two of this. Okay, that should make it. Okay. Gonna put our it back on our stands. Okay, you probably see the dogs in the distance. We'll do a video on them later. Okay, back to me. Okay, so after that, let's say you you can play this perfectly. Well, one problem you have is your bow always seems to go onto the fingerboard. It won't stay in the middle. By the way, you're not supposed to touch this, okay? Yeah, you may think I'm touching it on that. Okay, so I need to clean this off. Anyways, you say your bow's always going over here and it won't stay in the center. Well, during your practice time, you'll need a straw. And you'll need to bend the end a little bit so that it will fit in the F hole. See? That's what it should look like. Okay? So once you have that in, I'll play um, the end. You, you put your bow on this side of the string, straw, on the opposite side of the fingerboard, okay? So we're going to play A. Or E. And it should, oops, it should stay either leaning up against the straw. It's okay if the straw bends out. It's keeping you from touching the fingerboard, though. So, works pretty well for me. Um, my music teacher gave me that. And so, you need to up against it. It's okay if they're touchy touchy. And then, when you go to play professionally, you should be able to play fun. Now your bow's going to move, but as long as it goes doesn't go into the anchor board, that means it works. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So that's one of my tips. Okay, so on to my, I think this is my third tip, or fourth tip, something like that, okay? So, I am using First book, it's called String Builder Book. It brings you through 
all the different um, notes you need to know. Okay, so when learning new notes, this is what it'll have. See? It's way the notes. I know it's backwards for y'all, but. And also, I am doing this. Really good book. And it's just um, that is arranged. And then this book. This is also a good book. Okay, we'll talk more about this book later. One more pointer. Maybe not one, but anyways. You I very advise you to get the sticker. It's one sticker. It goes on there and um if you get it this book string builder, it will help you hey man me oh, maybe not. Anyways, if you get this this right here, then it can help you a lot on where to put your fingers and stuff, okay? And if you get this book, and then go in, they'll tell you, okay, so my page, page eight, it's talking about your first note. It says first finger. And my teacher wrote under it, yellow. Um, yeah, right there. So, it's on the yellow string. So, you would hold down D1. See? It's yellow. I don't know if you can see the colors, but this is a yellow. Oh, uh, no. Right there. Okay? So, that's what you would hold on. So, it helps a lot. So, I advise you to get that. I'll help you tremendously, okay? Okay, on to my next tip. I'm almost done, so don't hang up. Don't stop. I mean, okay, so with this book, My Let's Perform Scares Strings, it's book one. Okay, so very first song is God is So Good. Okay? Page seven. God is so good. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. It's a short song. Now, do you see those four letters at the top? It's pits. That means pizzicato. Pizzicato is really helpful when you are still doing bow exercises and different things. So, pizzicato is this. Put your thumb right there, right there near the. Right there, okay? Put your thumb there. This is how your hand needs to be. And then you put your thumb there. And then you go. Can you see? Okay, so like that. So I'll play this song to you and you'll see how it works, okay? So let's make sure you can see me alright. Okay. Ready? Now I'm using the notes I already know. Oops. Still sounds the same. They want you to do pizzicato from the beginning, okay? And then you go in. Eventually, when you get to the song that I'm on, Jesus Loves Me. Then, on the course, it brings you into the bowing. Um, but that's when you know how to bow. Okay? Let me give you one more tip, and I'll get out of your hair. Okay? So, in order to learn how to properly do it with the bow, you need these exercises. Okay? I'll read them to you, because I don't know if you can read them. Okay? So, the four exercises. Okay? And you need to do this daily. Okay, so your first exercise is called up, bow, down, bow. So you hold your bow. If you don't know how to hold it, that's how you hold it. Put your thumb on this side. Okay? And you go, you look at the tip the whole time. Okay? Up, bow, down, bow. Okay, it helps fluctuate your wrist. Okay? 
Okay, so up bow, down bow, you do that eight times. Your second exercise is going to be this. Okay, watch. It's going to be bow to the left, up bow, bow to the right, up bow. Okay, you do that eight times. Next one is to figure eight. It's going to be hard because I don't have a lot of space. But you start off like this, the side figure eight. And you go down, up, down, up, and you should land like this. If you need more help, just put it in the comments below and I'll do a better video on these exercises. Okay, your second one, I already rosin my bow, so I'm not going to rosin it again. You saw me do it earlier. Maybe I will. You're going to run it across. This also helps. Don't move this hand. That's what my sister likes to do. Don't move this hand. You just move your bow. So. You can also do this eight times. You're supposed to do this before you start playing, okay? Thanks, guys. If you want some more tips, call, um, tell me in the comments below. And I'd be glad to hear from you and to help you out. Okay? Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks, guys.